Thank you, Taylor. So Abcourt, um, we're a Quebec-based uh, gold development company. Um, I'm the QP for the company, mining engineer over uh, 33 years now in the business. Uh, all the, uh, the amounts in there are in uh, Canadian dollars. So why Abcourt? Uh, first of all, uh, we're, we're about to, well, we're actually extracting gold right now. Uh, the mill's running. Uh, it's fully permitted. We have everything on site. We're operating a mill and the underground has got resource and uh, economic evaluation in place. Um, asset value, uh, over $70 million. Uh, replacement value, we do, we, it's a recent evaluation done in January 2024. Uh, we got over 500 square kilometers of land, development land in Northwest Quebec. It's all gold uh, and some base metal. We're the one of the largest landowner, uh, land we're leasing the land from the ministry, but uh, we're one of the largest land um, exploration land um, in Quebec. We got over 500,000 ounces already um, in measure indicated between three sites. And uh, we got uh, a lot coming for us in the, the next few months. Uh, of course, we're going to have gold sales. We're drilling underground at the Sleeping Giant project. And we're actually bringing the second rig uh, this week. Board of Director, uh, well versed. We got geologists, mining engineer, legal, accounting, uh, First Nation representative on the board. So it's well versed and all uh, francophone from Quebec. Well, we actually let one French person from France in the ward. <laughs> but he's the he's the he's writing the check, so <laughs> of course he's on the board. Um, management team, we're all in Northwest Quebec. Uh, we're, I like to say we got finger on the pulse. Uh, capital structure, uh, the blue and the orange is every, every time we do a capital raise right now in this market, it's, uh, it can be perceived as difficult, but we're fortunate every time we need to raise money, we go to the blue and the orange and we fill the account and we continue. So that's our business model for the last few years and we're going to continue that way. Uh, we got 1.2, well 1.1 as of today in the bank account. Uh, we got analyst coverage, uh, Red Cloud Securities, Couloir Capital. We're meeting other analysts next week so we're getting the ball rolling with, um, with coverage. Our assets, it's majority our gold. We own the gold mill. Uh, it's it's uh, 80 kilometers north of Amos, if you know the uh, the ABTB camp. We got some zinc asset at a uh, dollar a pound. We're uh, we're keeping them dormant. We got a lot of exploration credit applied to the claim, so there's no rush for us to do anything with the uh, base metal. But zinc is a critical mineral for the Quebec government, so we're not going to give them away. So we're keeping them, but our focus for that for us right now is gold since it's at $2,700 an ounce. We did, the, uh, we did a resource estimate in December 2022. You'll see the numbers a little bit later, but we also did an economic evaluation in June 2023. It shows basically six years of life of mine, 30,000 ounces a year, generating net, net margin of around 30 million a year. So you're looking at 180 million net cash from this project with low capex. When I say low capex, uh, less than 40. So it's, it's got good upside potential and near term. Like the mill's already running. We're starting to send uh, material from Sleeping Giant to the mill in April. Right now we're processing material from another project that we own. We're filling the circuit with lower grade material from an open pit that we own. It's on the power grid, it's on the highway, it's like one, well, not on the highway, one kilometer off. So it's road a year round accessible, paved highway. Uh, we got everything. The, minute, the Quebec government just announced that they're gonna build a, a cellular tower beside our mill. So now I'm gonna have to watch employees on Facebook, but uh, right now we don't have that issue. Uh, <laughs> The mill is uh, capable of processing 750 tons a day. Um, 
Historically, that mill was never full. So our plan is once we get Sleeping Giant in full production, we're going to look at some of our other assets to uh, supplement and, and fill the capacity of the mill. So thanks to our predecessor, we got over a million meters of drilling data uh, available to us. So what we did in 2022 is we built a geology model, a 3D model, and we identified over 800 structures uh, that we need to continue to develop. Uh, not all of them made the PEA, but uh, it's a good start. So we got a lot of drill targets and we're presently drilling from underground. Uh, one thing to note, the, the grade uh, 7.1 7 and 8.7, this is below the historical grade shipped to the mill. Shipped to the mill was at 10.3 grams per ton. That's uh, security commission makes me put this anyway. Um, so since the uh, resource estimate that was done in December 22, uh, we did the um, the uh, the preliminary economic evaluation. It's the, what you see in green. Just on the upper four levels, we identified another close over half, about 50,000 ounces of additional material that was not even in the economic evaluation from t June 2023. So we're presently uh, working on, this is where we're drilling. I invite you to check the press release we issued in January. We began drilling in December. We already have drill results. For example, the typical grade that we get is gonna be like 60, ounce, uh, 60 grams over half a meter. It's very narrow vein. Um, when you dilute it to uh, mineable size, then you, you get eight, between 10 to, between eight and 10 grams. Uh, our focus in the next two years will be in the upper four levels. Uh, there's enough mining just up there, and then we're just gonna keep going at depth and, and continue the drilling on the upper levels as well. The blue sky, um, what you see in gray is what was historically mined. Um, we have drill intercept in the blue zone, but no follow-up drilling. Like you got maybe one hole with 60 grams over half a meter, even 100 grams over half a meter, but no follow-up holes. So it doesn't even make the inferred category. So for us, those are drill targets we're going to be looking at in the midterm. Short term, of course, our goal is to get the mine going and do drilling to support the production. But eventually, we're going to be going on these, uh, on these untapped uh, potential. Large property, uh, we've got lots of room to play. Uh, the mining lease is that little square that you see. Um, that's the pointer. Yeah, well, where you see all the drilling, that's the mining lease. <laughs> The, uh, the black lines are the, the drilling, and you see that historically, the majority of the drilling was within uh, maybe 500 feet from the shaft. Our other deposit, uh, we release a resource estimate on two other deposits uh, in the summer 2023, uh, Flaude and Discovery Property. They're both uh, 80 kilometer east of the Sleeping Giant Mill. So our goal, um, when we get these assets going is to sh bring the material from these to the uh, resource up over to our uh, sleeping giant mill through the uh, forestry road. Same thing for Discovery. Discovery and Florida are six, six kilometers apart. So they're very close to each other. You're, you're looking at uh, close to half a million ounces just between those two deposits. So very simple for us, um, it's Sleeping Giant Mine, get it going. Uh, we're doing uh, diamond drilling. We started, we began in December, 2023. Second rig is starting uh, in March. Um, we're gonna do a resource update in the winter 2025, and it's gonna be followed with uh, pre-feasibility. In the meantime, we're gonna be mining uh, because we're fully permitted, we have the tilling facility, the mill, and um, it's always better to generate cash than just leave it there. 
Uh, on a corporate initiative, we began the processing of the uh, 5,000 ton bulk sample from the Pershing Mini 2 that we own. And um, that's what we're processing right now. We're filling the circuit with that material. And then after that, Sleeping Giant's gonna just continue to feed the mill. We already have 3,000 tons uh, underground ready to be uh, bring to sur uh, brought to surface. So again, we're uh, producing gold. Uh, we're growing development company. We're Quebec focused, and um, and that's going to be uh, that's where we're going to be looking at our, growing our resource. It's going to be in Quebec, having the mill, having being present in the in the area. We know we know the process. We know the trail to get the mine permit. So that's so that's uh, that's our goal for uh, Abcourt. Thank you.